So today we are doing a cute little folio, and this is actually Photo Plays Folio. I made one yesterday, and it turned out so stinking cute. I'm going to show you some of the dyes and everything for this collection. I even did a little coloring today. I've been a busy little bee. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to be shaking my pole here. Okay. <clears throat> so the paper collection we're going to be using today is called Christmas Memories by Becky Fleckmore. Now, the last time I was live, I did go through the whole entire collection, so I'm not going to do that again because, you know, that takes us a little bit of time. But anyway, we are doing a giveaway, and this is for USA only. So I'm just letting you know. And... This is how the little folio turns out. It is so stinking cute. It is six by six, and this is a quarter inch, okay? Actually, I think it's three eighths. Yes, it is. Three eighth inch spine. So, and then you have your little, um, I did a magnet right here, but you could kind of do whatever. Um, according to the photo right here, the designer who made this one, they used a little rubber band. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and then it just opens up. You have two little pockets. And these are some of the cut aparts. Now, you will have to trim these down a little bit for them to fit in, but it totally works. And you could put some mats behind here as well. So you have a nice little pocket here. And I love the little nutcrackers. They are so cute. And then you have a little pocket here so you could do a little gift card. So this could be like a really exceptional gift card if you want to, or you can actually use it for a photo folio. You can add anything else you want to this. I mean, I could totally see somebody doing a waterfall right above here, okay? Definitely, definitely something you could do. This is so easy speezy. I, I can't, I can't get over how easy it is. But anyway, um, let me show you some of the other parts to the collection. So we have our little Christmas stamps. Oh, here they are. See, I'm losing my mind already. Okay, so we have the old Saint Nick right here. And of course you have your Holly, Be Merry and all that kind of stuff. And then the die cuts. And I absolutely love die cuts because I hate fussy cutting, okay? So I haven't finished coloring all these in, but I started on them. Hold on, let me move this out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So you have Be Merry, the little presents. So stinking cute, you can layer them up. Then you have the 25th, and that's really cute too. And then uh, these are the two that I colored in, okay? I'm not saying I'm the best colorer in the world because I am not, okay? <laughs> I definitely stink at coloring. So anyway, but I have fun doing it anyway. Now give me some watercolors and I'm all about it. These were just markers, okay? So this was a lot of fun. And then also with the stamps, you can purchase the cute ornaments and snowflakes and the stars, okay? Really cute, and that one says, wishing you a joyful season. And that also has die cuts that come with that as well because I don't know about you, but I hate cutting out circles, okay? I can't do it, I just can't, I'm just being honest. Then you have your die cut tags, really love these. So you could wrap some presents and have gift tags all ready to go. That's perfect. And then for your mini albums or your, um, um, I don't know what I'm thinking here. I just wanted to get one the other day. Uh, a planner. That's the word. <laughs> oh my gosh. Forgive me guys. So you can get a planner and these are so cute in the planners. Okay. Adorable. Love, love, love. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, the one fun thing about this, and I'm going to show you in just about two seconds, is it has the directions for you on the inside of this. And also it tells you the cutting guide, which is really nice. And I have to say that I did not use the cutting guide, but um, because I like to only use the eighth inch border. If you want a little bit um, more of a border, then definitely follow the instructions on here. And I did actually type up um, my, my particular cut guide, okay? So it's, it's just completely up to you and how you like to create yours, okay? So, but everything else is the same. The way I put it together is identical, okay? So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna see all the little pieces. And here is where you have your directions. And then this is where you trim the papers, okay? 
So that's really nice to have. Awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to put that aside because I literally have one right in front of me. <laughs> I, I taped it up on my little thing here. I'm going to start off with actually creating the base outside of this, like the outside, and then we'll work our way to the inside, okay? Now, one thing I want you to do, this again is a six by six folio, okay? So it's pretty easy. You would start off by engaging your score lines, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna burnish it in. I was trying to make sure I'm doing it straight, right? That would help. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Kelly. I don't know what's with my lighting, but it's my computer. It's actually not in my room because my lighting is not changing. So I have no idea. That's really weird. I don't know if it's Facebook or what. And then here is going to be your closure, okay? So it has several quarter inch um, score lines in here already pre done for you. Love it. That is so simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put mine back a little bit further. I'm going to leave this score line. Your, let me turn this around real quick. So this is going to be my backside. I'm going to make a little mark at three inches because three inches is my exact middle here. Okay. And then this is how I'm going to do it because I found that the strap was a little bit too long for me. Okay you're going to go ahead and leave one quarter inch and then you'll have the rest okay so put it one quarter inch back i'm going to use glue i love glue so i'm just going to apply it on the inside of my little strap slash belt closure and then i'm going to center it okay Open that up and burnish it in and wipe away any excess glue, which I don't have any this time, so that's awesome, okay? So if you're doing it this way, you're gonna see that you still have one quarter inch right here, okay? And then I just found that, since I'm not completely loading mine, now, at this point, if you are using magnets, you want to go ahead and add your magnet now. And let me grab one really quick. Thought I had it out, but I don't. Okay. Hold on, guys. I apologize. Well, apparently my magnets have disappeared on me and that's how that works. So anyway, what you would do is you would place your magnet in the middle here somewhere. And what I like to do is, is glue my magnet down. And then I literally take a little bit of glue on top of my magnet. And then I bring it over, press it down. And then that leaves me a little glue mark. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'll go ahead and draw a little circle around here because I'm covering this up with paper anyway, it doesn't matter. That I have this on here okay and then I would just go ahead and place my magnet there and my fun thing to do is I always put a little bit of washi tape just to make sure that it stays in place now if you're using the basic gray magnets you don't have to use the washi tape they will stick there forever and ever and ever okay <laughs> so I hope that makes sense now at this point I can go ahead and start covering my album with my pattern paper and today I'm going to use the poinsettia. And I think it's really, really pretty. I love, love, love poinsettia. So you're going to need four at the same measurement, five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my front. And go ahead and use my art glitter glue. I try to use as much glue on my albums as much as possible. And what I love about this particular brand of glue is that it doesn't bubble up. I guess it could if you used it too thick, but um, it's pretty good. Hold on. I can see that I had it sideways. 
there's actually music note lines in here to help you make sure you're keeping it up on, on the right side. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one to the back side. And you know what I love about this project? If you own a store, this project is really easy to do and you need a minimal amount of papers to create this, okay? I think I used three 12 by 12 sheets. And I still had some of my um, cut aparts, which are my tags and stuff, left over. So this is an awesome little project to do, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and do my insides real quick as well. And then I'll give you the measurements for the spine. This is so easy speasy, guys, let me tell you. Okay. Just put that on in there. Burnish that in. Oops. I'm just messy with the glue today, guys. Let me tell you. Hopefully, I'm not missing any comments. Oops. See, I almost did it sideways again. I did a photo play class this weekend over at one of our local um, scrapbook stores, Wicked Papers, and it was a lot of fun. But boy, let me tell you, <laughs> I had some fun with making mistakes, but at least I did it before they did it, so that was good. Now, for your um, spine right here, you're going to need two strips of paper, okay? And you're actually going to need a second sheet of 12 by 12 paper that is this pattern, okay? So you're going to need this strip at um, 3 8 inches by 5 and 7 eighths, okay? And so you'll need just two of those. I'm just going to put this right on in here. And burnish it in. I love, love this paper. I love poinsettias. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Some people say poinsettia. I really don't know how it's pronounced, but I love them. They're so pretty. And just line this up here. Wipe away any glue and then burnish it in. Now, the last thing that we need to do to cover our base is you're going to do your closure straps. Now, <clears throat> this measurement only works um, for um, if you plan on having your closure covered up by your 12 by 12 paper, okay? Um, in the directions, if you decide to have your strap on the outside, I give the directions for that. It's actually seven and one eighth inches by um, a one and three quarters, okay? So that's up to you. But this particular measurement, you're going to need two at one and three quarters by four inches. Okay, let me just double check, make sure I'm right here. Oops, hold on, I lied. I forgot that I did take off. We're gonna do it uh, three and seven eighths. So I will fix that in my measurements there. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and add this in here. So three and seven eighths by one and three quarters. You write that down. Okay. 
flip it over and you don't actually have to do the inside but if you're doing a magnet you will want to okay so that you can cover it up let me turn it this way okay furnish that in now we have our base basically completed. Now, you want to round this a little bit, so you're going to take the edge of your bone folder, and you know like how you're making streamers on a balloon? You just kind of do the same type of thing here to loosen this up. And I'm actually going to let this dry a little bit more before I keep doing this, um, because it actually works better when the glue is dry, okay? So I hope that makes sense. All right. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we can go ahead and actually start on the inside. So the first thing we're going to do is make our pockets. Now, in my directions, I kind of give you the best way to save on cutting paper because the first time I made it, I didn't do that. And I ended up using more paper than I needed to. So I'm going to try to explain the best way that I can of how I did this. So. I start off by making the second pocket because the second pocket is bigger than the first pocket, but the length is the same, right? So um, it was easier to start off with the first one. So pocket, I mean, uh, the second pocket. Pocket two is two and seven eighths by five and three quarters. And with pocket one, I just cut off I cut it to five and three quarters, right? Because this is a 12 inch piece of paper, right? So I was able to create two with one strip of paper. Um, I had five and three quarters, and then I cut it down right here um, at one and seven eighths, okay? That should be two and seven eighths. Should I have this backwards? Hold on, that, no, that sounds like one and seven eighths. Hold on guys, I'm losing my mind. Let me look at my pocket here real quick. It is one and seven eighths. I can tell already. Okay, let me. Oh, it is one and seven eighths. Never mind. Don't listen to me, guys. I don't know what my problem is today. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my pockets, and they are numbered one and two. One is actually going to be on the bottom. All right, let me move this out of the way real fast. Um, one is actually going to be on the bottom, and then you're going to adhere two. Okay, so it gives you the cut lines right here so easily for you. Love that. I don't know if you can tell, but they have little black drawings that show you where to cut. That makes it easy speezy, guys. And then I can go ahead and add on my little strip here. But let me fold on my score lines that are already done for you. Love that. Then I can go ahead and add on my paper. Oops. I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments. If I am, I will go ahead once the show is over and run through them really quickly. Just going to center this. Again, wipe away any excess glue. and then burnish it in, okay? And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do my cuts for pocket two, okay? Go ahead and trim those off. You do not glue down this bottom part, okay? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, just fold over on the score lines. And we're going to grab our little paper here. Let me make sure I have it upside up. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okie dokie.
I love Christmas, but that is not my favorite season. My favorite is Halloween, and that is coming up really soon. So I'm so, so excited, and I love the new paper, which I'm going to show you that after this. Oops, got a little excess glue there, didn't I? Oh, well, it's on my finger. Okay, let's grab our base here. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab, whoops, pocket number one. Okay. And I'm going to place the bottom down first. Okay. I'm just going to butt it up to the very edge. And make sure you move away from your score line right here because then you won't be able to close your book. Okay, so just make sure you do that. Fold it over. Burnish that in. Okay. And then now you can go ahead and add the glue on here. I just like to make sure that I have it lined straight. Okay. And then I can go ahead and place it down. Now I'm going to take my bone folder, burnish it in really well, and then I want to come in, and since I'm using glue, I want to make sure that it's not sticking together because I need to make sure that it isn't so that I can add my second pocket. Now this is what's really fun. This slides in here just like so. Okay, easy speedy guys, let me tell you. Okay, and then you go ahead and add your adhesive on your tabs and fold in and repeat that same step that you did on the first one. Let me get this in there, come on. I don't like to burnish it in pretty hard so I don't have to come back and redo it okay now I have my two little pockets is this not turning out cute or what now here's the fun part we're gonna be creating a little envelope or gift card envelope if that's what you want to call it and I've already kind of pre added I'm going to do a instead of a magnet closure i'm actually going to use these little brads okay because i thought that would be fun to do and if you want to do the magnets you pretty much um put your magnet in the same place but it would be on the inside of course um the only thing that would be different is that your magnet would not would not go this far down or obviously it's not going to work um but let's do some cutting first and again, like I said, it gives you all the little directions on where to cut. I don't know if y'all, can y'all see that? If you can, give me some hearts. I know it looks blurry, but um, if I put it on auto, it will act crazy. So I'm going to do all these little cuts first. Easy, easy, speezy, guys. And then this one, I'm actually going to cut away the uh, score line, okay? The whole thing. Now I'm going to grab my ruler, and I wrote the measurements down, but I'm just going to grab my ruler so I can show you. So you're um, going to go ahead and make a little mark with your with a little eraser, you know, a little pencil. It doesn't matter because you're going to be covering this up with paper anyway. Okay. At two and fifteen sixteenths. What is two and fifteen sixteenths? Okay, it is actually the one tick under the um, the three. Okay, one tick. 
So it would be this little line right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's what it is. And then you're going to do the same thing on the bottom. I think I did basically um, a quarter of an inch on the bottom here. So the other one I did a half inch from the top. Okay, and then from the bottom, I'm doing a quarter of an inch in. But again, the same thing where it's um, 2 and 15 sixteenths, all right? Now, I'm going to grab my decorative paper because I want to go ahead and get that on there as well, okay? And your measurements for the inside of the envelope, again, you're going to start off with your wider piece, which is the middle. It's uh, 5 and 3 quarters by 3 and 1 eighth, so 3 and 1 eighth by five and three quarters, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue. And to be honest with you, they're gonna see very little of this, but you know, it's nice to have it um, patterned on the inside anyway, it really is. So I'm actually gonna move it all the way up so I can get my advantage of them seeing this little strip of paper okay and then for your top piece the top of your inside it's going to be two and one eighth by five and three quarters and i'm going to go ahead and add that on here and then i'm going to repunch that hole okay once i have this on here and get this the right way. Just center it and burnish it in. Wipe away any excess glue. And I'm going to grab my little beer memory keeper hole punch. And I'm just going to put that hole right back in there. Okay, you don't need to put any paper on the inside here because you're gonna close this up and they're not even gonna see it, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead. But before I do that, I do wanna go ahead and add my paper. So I'm gonna turn this over and upside down. My outside bottom paper of the envelope, like I said, you're gonna cut that first. So you have that wide piece. It's going to be two and seven eighths by five and three quarters. And I wanna make sure that I think about this. I really want it to be upside up, so. And I love using multi-directional paper, and this one really is. It's just kind of, if you're quirky like me, you like to have it a specific direction. So I'm gonna re-engage that little hole and because my, my We Are Memory Keepers punch will not go all the way through here, I'm just gonna go ahead and punch it now, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and add my little bread, okay? And I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose because I wanna be able to wrap my um, twine around it so I'm not gonna press it like all the way in and flat like I normally would. So there's gonna be like a little gap. I hope that makes sense. Now I can go ahead and fold over on my score lines and then attach it. Here we go. This time I'm going to pick this bone folder. It's a little bit longer. And I can press that on in there. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my top piece. And that's basically the same measurement as the bottom, um, this, this one. It's two and one eighth by five and three quarters, okay? So let me go ahead and add that on. And then I'll have to put that hole back in. And 
Now, if you don't want your brad to show, um, you would do this first and then do the inside. But um, to me, the brads are pretty bulky anyway, and you're still going to see it underneath the paper. So for me, I don't, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and punch that. Grab my brad. Again, whoops, again, I'm going to leave it a little bit loose. And I'm going to do a little slip knot on this one. I got glue all over my fingers. Well, maybe I should just do it this way. Okay. Get it on under there. And do one more knot. Of course, our trash guy, it doesn't matter what day I pick, he still comes on the same day. <laughs> Whatever I want, he comes around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to leave my little tail. And again, I'm going to go ahead and engage these little tabs. And so this is not in my way. I'm going to wrap this around too. I don't know. Need a little pain in the booty. I think I made it way too long. That'll work. Okay, there's one more little piece I'm missing here. I'm going to go ahead and add that on now. So this is going to be for my pocket that's going to be behind my envelope. And I love how they have this already cut. They call this piece number four. I'm going to go ahead and engage those score lines. And on one of these, I'm going to add my glue. Making sure my envelope is on the right side. It is. Okay. Sometimes I don't trust myself. And I'm going to go ahead and add it right here, varnish that in. Be sure to wipe away any excess glue. And then now I can go ahead and attach it to the inside of my book. do the same thing and I'm going to butt it up to the end but I'm going to do this kind of at the same time if that makes any sense hold on let me get that in there just make sure you keep it off of the score line so that it will close all right and then fold it over make sure you burnish it in really well you kind of have to burnish it in from the inside. Otherwise, you'll crush your envelope. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to wipe off some of this glue I've got here. I don't know if y'all notice this, but here, you got to look at my phone. See, like, I cannot see any of the comments. It's so weird. Um, my phone just started doing this recently, and I found out that it's not just me. There must be some glitch with Facebook, so I have no idea. But you have to scroll back and forth, and then you can see them. How weird is that? It is Art Glitter Glue. Thank you so much for, I just happened to see that comment. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Hi, Mary. Okie dokie. So now we have our book basically done. Again, now that this is dry, I can go ahead and, you know, get this to work a little bit better and then fold on my score line. 
and then now it's ready to go. I'm going to have to add my magnet in later because I don't know what I did with them. But let's go ahead and decorate. And I love the stickers. As you can see, I already used some for my other one. But you have tons of stickers in this collection. And I love that. And I already did some of the cut aparts as well. We have Christmas wishes and we have the 25th. And I was thinking maybe I would do this like right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let me cut this. Oops. I'm going to get it pretty close. I'm still going to leave the stripes on because I like that. Love the candy can look. I'm just going to put this in the corner because you don't want to use anything too big that it gets in the way of your little strap here, okay? I'm going to do that. I think I'm actually going to butt it up all the way to the edge. I normally don't do that, but... I really kind of like the way this is squared off. So I'm going to do that. And then I love the Noel. And I'm thinking maybe I won't do that. Okay, hold on. This is the best way I figured out to do these. <laughs> I used to make my life much more difficult. Now I actually set it up first, upside down. Okay. Oh my goodness, it just wants to stick on my fingers. It's good tape. Okie dokie. Gonna get my art glitter glue. Oops. Move that out of my way. Okay. Put a little bit on the top here. Grab my twine. I'm gonna leave plenty left over and then I just kind of put it in place. I think I'm going to move this one a little smidge closer because Noel is a big word or long word shall I say when it comes to a little six by six book. I'm going to burnish it in a little bit, press it down, make sure it's sticking. Then I'm going to grab my book. Oh, let me move these off too. Ah, that's really sticking to me today, isn't it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I have to do these like one at a time next time. I don't know. It worked for me yesterday. I don't know what's up. It's because I'm alive, guys. That's why. That's all. That's all it is. In fact, I just give up. Okay. We're going to go ahead and place these down. Noel. Move it up. Peel off that backing. Okay. Maybe I'm going to move that one up a smidge. And then I'm going to trim off my excess here. Okay. 
Okay. Grab that there. I think I still need to trim off a little bit more. This is turning out too, too cute. Okay, now I'm thinking I have a die cut of a small poinsettia. So I think I'm actually gonna put a poinsettia on there. And I can grab my little tags. I have my Jingle Bells, I have my Santa. I have my Christmas wishes that I cut down. Oh, I need to do a little bit more. Let me see if that's still too much. Yep, do a little bit more on this side. So literally it's five and three quarters, I should have known. And so now, or you could put it over here and they can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna add in Oh no, let's do season of joy. Season of joy. And I think I'm gonna put memories down here in the corner. And I think I'm pretty happy with what I have. I'm not sure. I might put something on the back. Probably peace and joy. I think I'll do that on the back. It does kind of blend in though. So I'll change my mind on that one. I'm gonna do season greetings. Yeah, that's much better. And that is it. Is this not too stinking cute, guys? I'm telling you, these are going to be fun little projects to do. You know, you could have your kids do them just before Christmas. Oh, my gosh. You can give these away as gift card holders. I'm telling you. They're adorable. Adorable, adorable. And you can use them for any season. It doesn't have to be just Christmas. So we will be doing a giveaway on this, okay? And they're going to pick somebody out and they're going to post it for you. And I cannot wait to find out who the winner is. I will be back uh, this Sunday, actually, this coming Sunday. And we will be working on another Christmas project. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, but it's going to be something fun for sure. But before we go, I have to show you the Halloween collection because this is my love guys I love 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 Halloween and this is called All Hallows Eve by Michelle Coleman is this not beautiful um, I love the witch's brew the little ghost on here the witch's hat that's cute uh, home sweet home spells potions curses wizardry and this one says between the wicked one and incantation so cute i love the beautiful cupcake i'm telling you so we're going to go inside this real quick oh my look at the stickers okay love 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 i can't get enough guys now this is cute i love the pumpkin the skulls the hat the bat really adorable welcome my pretties I love the glasses with the little spider <laughs> hanging down. That's really cute. I love the vintage kitty. So this is a, a very good mixture of vintage, and it's also just a beautiful looking paper. I love the little roses, and there's a little rose on the cupcake, so it kind of has some modern touches. The chandelier hanging off the tree, the butterfly. That's adorable. Love, love, love. Okay. So let's get on into the papers. This one is called Creepy and it has kitties mixed in with some leaves. That's really pretty. And then we have our wall of pictures. Super cute. Oh, I love this. So you have some script writing in the background. You can almost barely see it. And then you have tons and tons of pumpkins. 
I love this monochromatic look. And this is called Jack. I love the stripes. Okay. I love the polka dots. And I just love these colors. They're very vintage. Again, you have some script writing in the background. And here we have some windows that are loaded with all sorts of funny, cute little guys, owls, spiders. I love, love. This one's called Haunted House. Here's Ghost and Goblins. I love the new look of the chevron. It looks like a marker just going across. That's really cute. That's totally new. I don't think I've ever seen that. I love the ghost again with the little script writing in the back. Adorable. Looks like with street names and script writing. That's cool. Street names and street numbers. And this one's called A Little Witchy. Love that. Love the damask floral print. This almost looks like a cauldron with fire coming out of it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> and then we have our spider webs with our hats and bats and witch legs. Very cute. And then here we have Spooky. Again, script writing in the background with a lots of stars for a starry night. Um, oh, that is cute. I've never seen that. A wee bit wicked. That's cute. Trick or treat, spooky. There is magic at night when pumpkins glow by moonlight. Oh, I love the new words. The sentiments are cute. It says creeping it real, not too old for free candy. <laughs> I love it. Love, 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 guys. Adorable. Anyway, oh, let me show you one more thing. Hold on. I'll show you the stamps and the dies. Guys, we have the vintage kitty. The um. You have Boo 31 Got Candy. That's really adorable. I love, love, love that. You have die cuts to go with them. And then you have your cardstock ephemera. You got lots of fun frames. Looks like you get one, two, three, four, five frames. Love that. And then you have if the shoe fits, lots of tags. Lots of fun little tags. Really cute, guys. Anyway, I will see you all on Sunday, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. And again, I can't wait to find out who wins. Bye, y'all.